Prior to installing any water heater, reference all applicable national, local, and building codes and regulations. In most cases, high amperage and voltage is used to power the heaters. Serious personal injury or property damage can occur if the installation is not performed properly. In this video, we will be going over how to install Pro Series XTP units. In the box, you will see the heater, the mounting bracket, the installation guide and owner's manual, the product registration card to be submitted to Emacs, and a copy of the warranty. Before starting the installation, read the installation guide and owner's manual for the product. This product video is not designed to replace the provided guide, but to supplement it. Review the manual for recommended service clearance. To begin, identify heater mounting location. Locate wall studs if appropriate and mark. If wall studs are unavailable, use suitable wall anchors capable of supporting 50 pounds. Remove locking screw from center of the mounting bracket and then place into position. Align mounting holes on bracket with wall studs or wall anchors. Level the bracket and then mark the mounting holes. Next, drill holes for mounting screws and place the bracket on the wall. Secure with screws and wall anchors as required and verify that the mounting bracket is level. To mount the unit, align the left side of the heater to the alignment mark on the mounting bracket as shown and slide heater completely to the left. Install the locking screw through the back plate and into the mounting bracket. Mounting the heater in an alternate orientation is acceptable. When mounting the unit in an alternate orientation, do not use the included bracket and ensure the fittings are facing to the right as shown below. Note that the display readout and buttons will not rotate to accommodate for this alternate orientation. There are some notes to review before plumbing the heater. Flush the source line to clear debris. This is especially important on new construction projects. Pro Series XTP is supplied with 3 quarter inch NPT fittings. Full flow ball valves are required by code at inlet and are recommended at the outlet for optimal heater performance. Connect your water source line to the inlet fitting. Then, connect the hot water feed line to the outlet fitting. The inlet and outlet are marked on every Emacs unit and these connections cannot be reversed. To finish plumbing the unit, turn on hot water fixtures and allow water to run for a minimum of 60 seconds and until water flow is continuous and free of air pockets. Before starting the electrical installation, review the electrical specifications and ensure that all power is off. Install electrical wiring and make internal connection to heater as required. You must use the appropriate wiring for your specific unit. Use the appropriate strain relief fitting. Check the electrical connections to make sure they're correct and that all wire connections are tight and secure. The ground lead is to be secured to the GND connector on the grounding block. Also, confirm that the correct breaker size and wire gauge has been used. Leave circuit breaker off as we go to the next step. To commission the heater, check that the inlet and outlet ball valves are fully open. Then, turn on hot water fixtures. Turn on the circuit breaker. The digital display will briefly show an initialization screen, and then the unit will purge with one gallon of water. When done, the display will show the message, Heater Commissioned. The heater is now commissioned and ready for use. Replace the cover.